and there we go microphone is on i see the meter moving i must be putting out some audio <laughs> and uh, welcome everyone i'm glad to have you all on board sue says i hear you <laughs> hi sue and uh thanks uh, hermia and, and piggy and kevin and uh, all good uh, time to get the uh, show uh, going here so of course, what you're seeing on screen is uh, Saku uh, Sakura Jima. And of course, uh, Sakura Jima uh, just had a fairly large outburst. And uh, I thought it was kind of neat and cool. And uh, of course, just to uh, get you up to date on what's going on last uh, night, about um, just about 10 p.m. Uh, their time there on uh, that island, uh, they were... Uh, uh, experiencing uh, something a little bit different. Uh, there was a very large eruption, uh, a very large explosive eruption, and uh, the authorities uh, decided to um, evacuate the island again. Uh, so uh, everybody has um, left the island for right now, and um, I guess it was a little bit intense, and... Uh, um, once you see what was flying out of that um, explosive eruption, you'll agree with me uh, that uh, they had justification in doing so. Anyway, um, it is uh, pretty cool. Anyway, welcome to everyone. And uh, first off, welcome to the uh, moderators, Arizona Snowman, uh, Piggy, C&D Boy, and uh, possibly uh, Joseph Fields, as well as uh, Lucas Snow and uh, Gary, 24-7 Live, AZ Skies, uh, in the background as well, possibly. I just don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, welcome to the uh, moderators. Um, be kind to them. Uh, they're good people, and uh, we uh, do uh, respect them a lot, right? So anyway, all good. And, uh, of course, uh, first person in today again, uh, which was, this, uh, yeah, she was the same one in uh, yesterday. And that is Juliet, Juliet Cookie Monster. <laughs> oh, there's some cookies for Juliet, and uh, that's all good. And uh, that's uh, the way it is. And we love our mods. Thanks, Sue. And um, we love them, too. Uh, they're all good people. And that's the nice part about it. They, they're they uh, a really good bunch. Um, really, really good bunch. Anyway, um, yeah, so Sakura Jima been doing its thing. And uh, anyway, we'll get to uh, what it's doing. We'll show you the... Uh, the little video from uh, it's only two minutes long but uh, it'll give you the idea of what was going on yay thank you thank you uh, here's uh, some cookies uh, I'll uh, what I'll uh, place them in the lurkers lounge so everyone can enjoy and uh, no problem and uh, anyway welcome to all of you and of course Juliet being first uh, so no need to uh, <laughs> say that again uh, but Hermian also here with Fluffy uh, Sue Hayes is here, and uh, going up some more, Sarah Miles is on board, as well as uh, Daryl R. and Storm Chaser 1211, King Colin Deadman, uh, Daryl R., did I say Daryl? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, Kevin Haynes uh, here, welcome, and uh, we got Sue Hayes, Sandra Rockland, uh, Chuckster is in the house, Chris Chaplin also here, welcome. Uh, going up the list, uh, Billy Bob Joe uh, sitting in the lounge. I get it. Uh, no worries. Uh, take it easy, here, Billy Bob Joe, and uh, just relax. Uh, hopefully, uh, things will get better there for you. Kevin Williams also here. Welcome. Uh, going up some more. Looking for more wonderful names. Henry Nelson in the house. Welcome back, Henry. And let's see who else we got. Uh, we got that King guy. Uh, going up some more here, uh, looking for other wonderful names. I'm sure there was more. Juliet, again. Boy, Juliet's in there a lot. <laughs> Did I say hi to Chuckster? I think so. Uh, Amelia, welcome. Sixth Sense Amelia, glad to have you back on board. 
Going up a little more. I see who else I snuck in. Oz is in the house. Welcome, Oz. Glad to have you here. And I'm uh, going to continue uh, scrolling up to see who else. And of course, uh, oh, uh, Thor. I didn't even see that, that you uh, gifted one. So uh, I think it was Oz gifted one and then Thor gifted one. And I should write that down. There we go. And uh, at least I think that's what it was. Um, anyway, going up some more, looking for other wonderful names. And you guys might want to wait with gifting uh, till there's more people in here that are not um, green yet. And that might help. Um, and hopefully it will work. Uh, because I found that I ended up getting my money back on... They, they refunded because they couldn't do anything with the five that I had purchased last time or the one prior to that. So, uh, kind of, mm, most people uh, have their uh, um, memberships and then there's a few in here for some reason it doesn't want to give them um, a membership. And you got to make sure your membership thing is turned on uh, to accept the gifts. Uh, Connie Tyree also here as well. Uh, did I say Tom Dice and uh, uh, of course uh, Pepper and uh, let's see who else is in the house? Uh, going up more and more and more looking for other names and Who have we gotten here? We got Juliet again <laughs> uh, It's all good Juliet. I'm not picking on you. Don't worry. I'm just uh, noticing your name popping up quite a bit and it's nice to be active in the chat so all good and uh, let's see do we have anyone else on the list um, going 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 and uh, I'm all the way to the top I don't see anyone else there so we must have got ev just about everybody I see Grandma B just got in uh, welcome and uh, Barbell 88 also uh, just made it in the door and uh, good to see you and welcome and um, anyway so yeah let's let's actually get at uh, what we were going to uh, look at here and uh, that was the explosive eruption uh, that happened uh, last night there at Sakurajima and uh, it was uh, very very um, nasty actually and uh, let's um, roll the tape and uh, you guys will see um, uh, metal rules and uh, greetings uh, earth creatures uh, okay metal rules <laughs> uh, I'm not from earth though oh never mind um, okay I'm directed at the rest of the group uh, there's a few of us that are not but um, we're all good David Cruck also made it in and uh, Linda Schoof also here welcome Linda and uh, let's uh, roll that so uh, 10.30 or 9.35 p.m. Uh, this is what happened now. Just take a look at the size of the lava bombs that are coming down. And uh, some of those lava bombs. And this is just the way they had the video. I didn't speed it up or didn't slow it down. But um, some of the, those lava bombs are the size of cars coming out of there. And that it was just absolutely amazing to see and um it like and it even looked like there was a little bit of um uh, lightning in there and um, we'll play this one again here let me um reset it and we'll play it back one more time um right uh, from the beginning so uh, there we go so i uh, keep your eye on the uh, center area of that blast uh just a little bit up from the crater and you'll see where the uh, the lightning flash is right where that dark spot is now and the size of those lava bombs when they hit those are incredibly large um, the size of cars if not bigger and uh, let's see uh, where's that uh, little flash should be happening anytime there now there it goes and um, it, it happened right in the middle of that plume and uh, so yeah with the material uh, coming out at the speed that it was of course 
Um, it uh, basically uh, has the collision of, of all kinds of things in there that are coming out, the tephra, the lava, um, the ash, um, dust, um, uh, water molecules, etc. And everything coming out at a very high velocity, rubbing up against each other, banging against each other. And, and that, of course, creates uh, pol um, polarization of uh, static electricity and um, ends up uh, causing a little bit of a, a zap in there. So uh, that is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, that um, eruption, because it was so violent, uh, the uh, uh, authorities there uh, did order an evacuation again uh, last night uh, for uh, the entire island uh, that the uh, volcano is on. And uh, for the life of me, I have a hard time remembering uh, the uh, name of that island. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Kagoshima, if, if that's right. Um, so, um, anyway, and that is, um, unfortunately we don't have the, uh, the close-up view. The close-up camera, uh, was, I, I don't know if it was actually knocked out by the blast, um, uh, but it didn't have any more, um, uh, footage right, <laughs> right when uh, that occurred. So something, um, uh, caused it to, uh, fail, and I think... It may have been the actual eruption. Uh, Tetra is in the house. Welcome, Tetra. And uh, what happened? Um, uh, help, I have a Kraken attacking me. Ouch. Uh-oh. No, don't attack Kraken. Uh, Kagoshima. That is the island, yes. And uh, that was uh, kind of what we were seeing there. So... Um, we'll uh, turn that guy off, put us back to a uh, live, and that's kind of what we're seeing now. And I thought, hey, you know, we'll share that with you guys since um, it was uh, still acting up. I'm sure we're going to see more blasts like that out of there. Anyway, let's get over to Iceland, and um, we've already stopped the uh, uh, the canned lava here. Uh, I do want to show you another video here, and. Um, there was something weirdish at Katla, and uh, when we were watching this, um, it was kind of this. I, I did it in a um, time lapse, so you can take a look and watch the clouds over at Katla, and you see how uh, darkish they were in some areas. Um, of course, that's over the ice fields, and it makes a guy wonder what the heck was going on there. Now. Um, seeing the other clouds go by near the end of the video here really makes me wonder if um, if it wasn't just uh, some um, evaporation happening with the sun hitting the uh, um, the ice and all that and causing it to evaporate a little bit but you see these uh, fast clouds up front here and they are kind of that same shade as what we were seeing in the background uh, over the ice fields and I kind of wondered uh, what the heck was going on anyway uh, that was a nice picture uh, when uh, we see that but um, a little bit uh, suspect so um, I don't know for sure if uh, if that is off gassing or uh, doing something strange um, but um, definitely makes a person wonder what the heck is going on so, and that is kind of interesting, and I um, thought we'd share that little moment with you. Um, another uh, moment that we uh, possibly want to share is uh, when, the, whoop, uh, let's uh, turn off the canned lava for now, is this, and, uh, and go, hey, what a funky looking picture. Uh, all the lights are distorted, and uh, you kind of have to wonder why. And if we uh, back that up a little bit, about six hours or so, um, you really can't see too much. And I'm going, huh, how come? And why are the roofs uh, white? And um, that's kind of a, a weird thing there too. And I'm kind of wondering, when you look at some of these roofs here, uh, they seem to all be white all of a sudden. And uh, what the heck is going on there? So um, anyway, if we uh, go to the other shot of uh, this one, 
uh, the one that looks at the uh, mountains in the background, which we can't see obviously right now, but uh, if we uh, back that up about seven hours ago, you'll see. And um, yeah, look at um, white roofs. And that is really interesting. If we go back a little bit further, about eight hours ago, you can see uh, there's a lot more snow on those roofs. And um, definitely some snow in Reykjavik. Uh, that's uh, kind of hmm darn snow anyway <laughs> so uh, that's what uh, their weather is like unfortunately and uh, hopefully uh, they'll be okay with that that's about ten and a quarter hours ago and um, yeah you can see they did have some snowfall in a lot of places there and uh, really not enough Sun to uh, melt any of that off uh, putting it back on live, that's what it looks like right now, of course, and uh, very distorted because of the uh, wet camera lenses and stuff, and this this one as well. So, um, kind of funky looking as far as I'm concerned, looking at the uh, the way the um, almost spider webbing uh, type effect on the, the lights, uh, which is kind of cool. Um... I was looking uh, for the white ruse. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, no white ruse there. Sorry, uh, Oz. Um, yeah, they're not going to be uh, coming around anytime soon there in Iceland, I don't think. Uh, it's not Christmas yet. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, snow in Iceland. Uh, what a, a surprise. Yeah, well, the... They still named it wrong. Iceland is pretty much green when you look at it uh, from the air in the um, in the summertime anyway. And if you get over to um, Greenland, it's pretty much all white. <laughs> so uh, big difference. Um, they could have called uh, Greenland um, something else. Um, you know, anything else, uh, anything other than Greenland. And um, Iceland should have been called uh, Greenland. But we all know uh, that um, uh, Iceland is not, uh, that's what we call it in, uh, uh, in English. Uh, it's actually Island uh, in uh, German and Island in many other languages. And uh, that's a little bit different pronunciation, but hey, that's fine. I'm not going to get into it. Um, Iceland should be Greenland and Greenland should be Iceland, yes. And actually, I think um, the reason uh, Greenland got called Greenland is because once Iceland uh, had all the land taken, uh, the people there in Iceland basically said, oh, oh, if you keep going with your boat that way for another couple, three, four days, um, you'll get to Greenland. And... Um, to try to sell um, Greenland in that respect. So, a little bit different and uh, pretty awesome. Uh, Greenland used to be green. Um, I agree with you, Sarah. At one point in time, Greenland actually had, um, believe it or not, had uh, tropical forests on it. But that is a long time ago. Um, slightly before our time. Uh, Danish marketing, uh, you bet, uh, Colin. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Anyway, so uh, that is some um, interesting stuff right off the bat there that makes you go, hmm. And uh, I kind of like that. So uh, we've covered the uh, Sakurajima eruption and uh, we've uh, looked at uh, Katla to see uh, what was going on there. Let's go over to the harmonic tremor chart. We're going to uh, see if we can... Uh, find anything interesting there. I'm going to refresh it. It's not quite up to date, but close. So let's get that done. And uh, there we go. So um, there's our activity for today uh, that we're seeing in our wonderful Fragadelfjall area, the one that we love so much where uh, Ragnar and Siggy and Bob and all those others live. Anyway, we do see some spikes in here. So we know we've had some quakes and uh, looks like it's pretty consistent with you know what's been going on the last little while um, and a lot of it I'm still brushing it up as tectonic movement 
uh, rather than um, any kind of a um, magmatic uh, upheavals of any type or intrusion. Um, so looking at it, that's what I'm guessing or my hypothesis uh, would be that it is uh, a tectonic in nature. So uh, pretty uh, cool to see that. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at Grimsey uh, because that's where all the action was uh, today. And uh, you see a couple of uh, very large uh, spikes here in Grimsey and uh, some uh, smaller ones. And then things uh, subsided there as well. So um, up by Grimsey, we should be seeing a few big quakes or a couple of them anyway. Uh, something that's maybe uh, three or f not quite four. Four would probably take it right off of there. But uh, uh, getting up there anyway, so uh, that is what we've got going on there. And uh, while we're down here, let's go back down to uh, Grindavik and uh, look at the uh, Grindavik chart. Uh, there we go. We see as uh, steady as she goes, uh, but on a downward swing on our blue here. And uh, our uh, purple and green kind of steady, um, but uh, some small spikes in there. So uh, not big quakes in that area. And that then makes you wonder what was going on, right? So let's uh, roll this one back up. And uh, we want to uh, get it back on Fregadel Phil. And that should be right there. Perfect. And um, let's have a look at the earthquakes in the area. And uh, i got to get myself on the right screen here. And again, I had to redo everything. So uh, things are gone again in different places. Uh, but uh, that's okay. Looking up in the north here, we don't see anything way out. Uh, there's my uh, threes that I was talking about. I see them there. And a quick a check down on the bottom. We don't see anything out in the water or way out on the uh, Rikens Ridge either. I do see this one here, 2.12 uh, uh, at Kapla. And uh, that was only 135 meters down from 727 this morning. And um, I kind of wonder if, if that may have stirred things up a little bit there at um, uh, Katla and uh, caused that um, cloud stuff that we were looking at. Uh, very, very hard to tell though. Anyway, let's uh, dive into uh, some of these and uh, see where they are and uh, what uh, depth they were at, that kind of thing. And by the way, we've had in the last 24 hours, so 178 quakes. So yesterday the numbers went back down and today they're back up as far as the amount of uh, quakes that we are seeing. And it's been holding in the uh, high 70s or high 170s all day long. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at uh, these 3.7, 10.1 kilometers down, 10.26 a.m. for that guy. Uh, 11.58 was the uh, time on this uh, 3.27 and it was deeper at 14.2 kilometers down and then we've got a whole bunch of other uh, smaller quakes uh, so and those two were the bigger ones and um, the, the rest are kind of um, a little well i won't say tiny but i'm definitely smaller uh, 2.0 here 12.6 kilometers down 6:26 a.m let's get something fresher one uh, 1.7 14.8 kilometers down 1805 and then we see at 1723 1.8 13.5 kilometers down now uh, we've got uh, this one 1 1.6 15 kilometers down and 9:45 a.m uh, let's i uh, just grab some on this side as well a little shallower 9.6 kilometers down for this magnitude 1 1.6 from 1728 and uh, let's grab this fresh, well, it's not that fresh, uh, 5.9 kilometers down for that one, uh, 1.6 from 11.24. And uh, 1.8, uh, 3.6 clicks down, 10.24 for that guy. Uh, this would be fresher, uh, 23.13, uh, not too long ago, and uh, that was from uh, 1.1 kilometer down uh, that's a lot shallower and it is a uh, 1.4 magnitude kind of makes you wonder why the different uh, differences in depth 
uh, in the, those areas. Anyway, this is another 1.9, 5.7 kilometers down, 17.03. Uh, another 1.9 from 12.31 and 9.7 kilometers down. As we uh, get uh, closer to land here, 1.7 and only 1.1 kilometer down for this one happened at 11.28. Uh, the 1.2 is um, back uh, uh, to a 5.2 uh, kilometer depth and uh, 10.59 for him. Uh, let's uh, grab these older ones here. Uh, 1.3, 5.2 kilometers down uh, from a 3.34 in the morning. And this other 1.5, again, only 1.1 kilometer down. And, and that is at 12.33 uh, going down here we got a 1.0 uh, 5.2 kilometers down 9.03 a.m. then uh, 5.2 kilometers down for this 1.1 from 11.07 and uh, sliding down a little bit more we'll just uh, grab a few here just to see uh, 1.9 uh, 2.7 kilometers down from 20.20 uh, 1.5, 5.9 kilometers down from uh, 18.04. This 0.9, 5.2 kilometers down from uh, 13.48. And uh, just to uh, give you some idea, and uh, here's a, a 0.89. It was a little shallower at uh, 1.8 kilometers down from uh, 3.35 in the morning. Uh, this 0.99, uh, 12.2 kilometers down from 138 uh, this morning. As we keep going here, um, we see, again, the depth is uh, varying. So, interesting, 12.01 was the time for this guy, magnitude 1.2, uh, 5.2 kilometers down. Then we've got this guy, another 1.2, 5.2 clicks down, 11.14. And uh, this one here, uh, 1629 uh, for this uh, magnitude 1.3, and uh, that is 1.1 uh, kilometers down. Uh, then we have a 1.2, 5.8 kilometers down at 19 uh, minutes after 12 noon. And um, then there's a whole bunch more. We could keep going uh, listing every one of them, but I'm not going to bother. Um, let's uh, get to uh, the Earth. Uh, ones around the Astra here and uh, maybe we'll t uh, take a look at a couple of those so Astra had a bunch of little ones and it's always interesting that you know they're very small I'm surprised they even uh, can detect those but a 0.1 5.9 kilometers down from 2129 um, this one from 2005 again 0.1 5.9 kilometers down a point of five eight uh, three point of four kilometers down from uh, eight oh seven a.m. and then we have um, what is it uh, four seventeen a.m. a uh, point uh, three six and, and that is only uh, hundred and thirty five meters down so a little shallower uh, there and that uh, kind of makes her go hmm what's going on uh, these other ones over here are very shallow as well, a 1.2, and uh, it is only uh, 900 meters down, not quite a kilometer, uh, from 1753. And let's uh, take a look at this guy, uh, 5 kilometers down for that 0.3 from 2205. And then uh, what do we got here, 1.9, 5.1 uh, kilometers down, uh, 1 1.1 from uh, 2203 for that guy. And uh, did we get the other one in here? You got that one. You need this one. Uh, we got him already. And the zero was 5.3 kilometers down. Uh, 20, uh, 30 was the time on that. So uh, thank you for the five minute warning, Piggy. I did see that. Uh, not a problem. Anyway, and that kind of takes care of that area. Let's take a look at uh, what we've got over here close to uh, Grimsbotten. And. Uh, we don't see anything at Bartabunga at all. Um, it's uh, very quiet up there. Uh, this one here, uh, 0.9, 1.1 kilometers down from 21.05. And uh, need to zoom in, split those two up. There we go, 1.36, uh, 2.9 kilometers down from 7.56 a.m. Then we have a magnitude 1.17, uh, 3.4 kilometers down. 
uh, from uh, just about 4 a.m. And uh, that is uh, right there. And uh, as we uh, slide down, we'll see a couple of these other ones. 0.63, 10.2 kilometers down, 8.32 this morning. And then this guy here, uh, 13.07 for 0.74, uh, 1.9 kilometers down. And uh, kind of makes you wonder. Mm, it's pretty quiet there for a volcano that's supposed to do something. It's really not doing anything. Anyway, uh, we did look at this uh, 2.12, uh, 135 meters down uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, wondering if that had something to do with the smoke we were seeing. And yeah, not 100% sure. Uh, anyway, we'll keep an eye on Catlap. Uh, obviously, if it blows, um, we'll know uh, in a very short order. Anyway, at uh, 1913, uh, three kilometers down for this 1.2 up there. Uh, 0.1, 5.2 clicks down, 2201 uh, for him. And uh, now we're getting into our um, peninsula area that we love so much. And uh, looking at um, 0.92, uh, five kilometers down, 523 a.m. And then we've got a 0 0.8, 4.8 uh, kilometers down at uh, 2231. A 0.6 out on that little tiny peninsula. And uh, actually that one almost looks, uh, I was going to say looks like it's on the highway, but it's really not. Uh, from 1800 or 6 p.m. Uh, Icelandic time. Uh, zooming back out, taking a look out here. And um, that is the other uh, volcanoes out there. 0.62, uh, 6.3 kilometers down, um, 7, uh, 56 a.m. Uh, 0.2, uh, 4.8 kilometers down, 7.56 as well. Uh, a little uh, closer to uh, home, if you want to call it that. And that is a 0.18, uh, 1.1 uh, kilometers down from 50 minutes after midnight. Uh, the other one uh, beside it there is a 0.25 from a 3.4 kilometers down 49 minutes after midnight. So a uh, very close. Uh, we don't see anything around Krusevik uh, today. And of course, Kalir is right here. Let's uh, take a quick peek at these and uh, I'll see if we can uh, do this before the break. 0.56, 7.3 kilometers down, 3.47 a.m. for him. Uh, 0.47, uh, 2.9 kilometers down, 3, uh, sorry, 9.37 in this morning. And uh, getting uh, close, and uh, this one is not very far away from our Siggy Fisher, a uh, 0.25, 4.77 kilometers down, uh, 3.24 this morning. And uh, let's see, where's the other one uh, down here? 0.419 uh, kilometers down, 58 minutes after midnight. And uh, we'll uh, move on here a little bit more. Uh, 0.41, 5.1 kilometers down, 6.44 a.m. This one out in the water was uh, from uh, 4.34 a.m. Uh, 0.35 kilometers down, and it was a uh, 5.1. It is break time, and um, now we know where to stop. And we'll stop here at uh, Grindavik. And, uh, of course, uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, the one right in town, underneath the town. Anyway, there's the Blue Lagoon and the power plant right beside it as well. Uh, just so you guys know. Oh, I hear my squirrel calling. Hey, Squirrely. I hear ya. Uh, Squirrely is telling me it's break time. Get me a nut. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll uh, get back to that in a second. And uh, let's uh, go back uh, here and uh, we will uh, see what we've got uh, on this. Put some can lava back on for you. And um, turn that lava on. Uh, there we go. All right. I got that going and uh, need to put the uh, date back on there so you know when it's from. Uh oh, watch out. Guy walking by with a camera. Danger, danger. Anyway, um... For those good people who are here, if you have not yet hit that like button, please do consider hitting it and uh, helping us out. Uh, we are far, far away from our target of over 100 likes, and, and that's what we're trying to achieve anyway. Uh, for uh, this stream, it really does help out with YouTube analytics. Also, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, sitting on the sidelines wanting to get in and chat, 
um, if you uh, subscribe one minute later you'll be able to chat in the uh, chat box so uh, give it a quick bop and don't forget to hit the um, bell notification so uh, you get notified when we come alive and of course it is a daily stream so uh, that uh, should be pretty easy anyway on that friendly note I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 here in Edmonton Alberta Canada where the magpies are raining and uh, I'm gonna go take a break um, squirrels and magpies don't see no bunnies yet and uh, that's the way it is all right um, be good I'll be back in five minutes or thereabouts don't go away and uh, play nice in the lava will be good thanks
microphone is on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. Uh, glad to have you still on board or uh, joining in. And uh, welcome back, uh, the almighty one and, and only uh, Dr. Fox 2000. <laughs> Thank you, Piggy. And uh, uh, thanks to uh, Sue and Kevin and Hermian. Uh, even though you had it a little early there, but you should have just left it, Hermie, and it was okay. And uh, King Colin Dedman as well, uh, all good. And I see uh, David Brewer. Uh, David, welcome. I'm glad to have you on board. Uh, Dave Cruck also here. And uh, David, of course, uh, will be uh, streaming tonight after the stream he uh, mentioned and uh, showing the uh, meteor shower. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to see some. I did peek in uh, um, a little bit uh, on the last one there, and um, actually I didn't see any. I seen a couple satellites, but nothing uh, that was uh, really uh, uh, cranking me up. <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, they come in spurts, and we know that, and it's all uh, pretty cool. Uh, are you allowed to uh, post anonymous links uh, for meteor showers, uh, please, uh, Piggy? Uh, okay, we... Um, um, we'll get that posted for you. Um, David, do you have it uh, preset f um, uh, for the link uh, for there? And uh, what we can do is uh, at the end of the stream, of course, uh, we can uh, definitely uh, um, show it afterwards. Um, you are going to uh, view it uh, here. Uh, no, not here. Um, on his uh, stream, he'll uh, have it uh, separately. It's preset. so. Yeah, if um, uh, someone like C&D wants to go over, uh, C&D Boy, if you want to go over and grab that link and uh, drop it in there, and uh, maybe uh, drop it for later or something, uh, Bob will post it. Perfect. Uh, Arizona Snowman. All cool. Anyway, um, that is absolutely fine. And um, uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a real light show. Uh, other times, it's like, hmm, where are they? <laughs> And um, that's kind of the way it is with meteor showers, but we do enjoy watching the skies, and it is always uh, cool. Anyway, uh, let's get back over to uh, finishing off those earthquakes that we were looking at. And, um, yeah, like volcanoes, exactly. Some days uh, we've got all kinds of activity. Other times uh, we've got nothing. And uh, that, is, uh, that is, I guess, the uh, status quo of uh, the business. Anyway, uh, we uh, did have a look at uh, these uh, two over here, and uh, we had a look at uh, what's happening uh, in the uh, Fregardel Fjeld area. And uh, now we're, uh, we're going to take a look. I think uh, we'll grab this one here in the water again just to make sure. For, uh, 4.34 this morning, uh, 0 0.35, 5.1 uh, kilometers down. And then uh, we had a 0.14, 5.1 kilometers down as well from 6.44 a.m. And the one right uh, downtown, uh, well, not downtown, but uh, right in Grindavik, a uh, 0.16, very small, and uh, that is 3.2 uh, kilometers down, and uh, 9.25 uh, this morning uh, for them. Then we uh, get up here a little closer to the uh, Blue Lagoon and the power plant, and we see a little row uh, right here. Kind of makes you wonder. Uh, always looking at. Um, when you see a row uh, like that, you kind of wonder what's going on. Uh, anyway, 0.27, 4.5 kilometers down, 819 for him. Uh, 0 0.08, and 4.5 kilometers down, uh, 647, uh, 0.49, uh, 1.9 kilometers down, and uh, 13 minutes after 1 a.m., and this guy here, 7.59 a.m., uh, 0.36, uh, 3.1 kilometers down. And then we've got this uh, 0.1, 4.1 clicks down, and uh, that was at 16.13. Uh, so uh, that kind of takes care of that in this area. I don't think um, that's going to indicate any kind of an eruption, uh, nothing imminent anyway. And uh, then we see this 0.7, 6.7 kilometers down from 12.58 p.m. of course and uh, then we have uh, 6 uh, 45 a.m. a uh, 9.97 uh, if it was a 9.7 that'd be gone um, 
uh, anyway, uh, point at 9.7, 3.5 kilometers down. Let's uh, move out here into the uh, water. We see uh, this point 0.69, and it is uh, 5.4 kilometers down uh, from uh, 3.45 uh, a.m. Welcome, old Nick. I see you sneaking in there. And um, that is kind of it. Uh, let's, oh, there's a, a few more out here. Aftershocks, uh, 1.37 and 9.8 kilometers down, uh, 105 uh, uh, this morning, and uh, 116 this morning, a uh, 1.49, uh, 10.005 kilometers down. And then um, the uh, short, seeing this one here kind of gets you confused. Why is everything else so deep? And then all of a sudden, this is only a 973 meters down. 1.75 at uh, 6:22 uh, this morning uh, for him, and uh, that is uh, that is it. That's our uh, earthquakes um, going on there. So um, Iceland is uh, got a bunch of shakers, but we're not sure what the heck we're going to do with it. I do uh, know though uh, this uh, is interesting here with uh, the 2.12 uh, here. And uh, I'm still curious because those clouds definitely showed up uh, somewhere in the early morning hours is when it started um, uh, looking like there was uh, something there. And uh, hence the reason uh, for me making that little bit of a, a time lapse. And I will show that again just so uh, we understand what we're looking at now. And uh, of course my my whiteboard isn't working for that. Um, let's uh, there we go. That should work now, maybe. Um, anyway, you can see the uh, darker areas in the the back here, these ones, right? And you kind of wonder if um, you know that's pluming out of something or or what the heck is going on. Uh, and to me, it looked like this one here for sure was pluming out, and. Um, I really, really do have to wonder if that is in fact some off-gassing coming out of there or what the heck is happening. And um, it's it's a little odd. Um, so, uh, you know, we'll take it with a grain of salt for right now. Again, I'm not going to uh, say that um, we're going to have an eruption that's not imminent in that sense, but you never know. Anyway, let's uh, carry on around the world. We'll take a look at a few other uh, places. And uh, we'll head uh, down the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge over to the Azores. And um, we know uh, they had some pretty rough weather today uh, as far as uh, wind and stuff. Um, oh boy. Actually, um, before we go to the Azores, uh, let's go back to uh, Sakurajima for a minute. And uh, Sakurajima, again, is uh, throwing out uh, quite a bit of uh, material again. And um, we're seeing uh, more of, oh, come on, computer change. There we go. Uh, more of that material coming out. And, of course, this plume is another one that just got created um, while we were chatting about the other stuff and on break. So, um this thing is uh, quite active uh, today, so definitely going to be um, interesting to see what happens um, over the uh, the rest of the day and uh, possibly night uh, to see if this is going to er erupt. And I'm very happy that they did evacuate everyone from uh, the island there. And uh, of course, you see that ash is uh, going down, hitting everything in its path. And uh, I'm sure it's going to leave some heavy, heavy uh, layers uh, in here. And, you know, you see how dark gray that material is. There'd be a lot of ash uh, dropping in here and uh, causing some problems for them in the uh, uh, very near future uh, for those good people who are there. Anyway, um, just I wanted to make you aware of that. Anyway, Laura, I'm getting back here. Azores, uh, let me get on the right screen. Of course, uh, we can't really see the uh, lights on Pico Island. I do have the um, a daytime shot. There's what it looks like uh, during the day. You can see Pico Island uh, and, of course, uh, Pico Volcano, also referred to as Mount Montana. 
on the other side and we are on the island of uh, St. George and of course St. George is um, the one where we have that one volcano um, um, kind of predicted but nothing really has um, come out of it and uh, we didn't have the rise um, the material or the um, uh, ground upheaval and um, we uh, didn't see anything um, two minute warning you mean 12 minute warning piggy um, 12 minute warning not two you're 10 minutes fast piggy <laughs> check your clock uh, or did you have another earthquake there I'm just curious um, I knew that was testing you oh okay wow <laughs> as long as you're only testing that's all good piggy anyway let's I go to the other shot here and uh, wow we are seeing a lot of white water uh, down here in our little cove or bay and uh, I did actually have a look at that earlier some of those waves coming in there were really really big so um, uh, it is kind of going oh wow and uh, you can actually see the waves rolling in there that is actually pretty rough um, pretty rough ocean I wouldn't uh, recommend going out there in a small boat tonight um, even a, a large boat uh, may have uh, some issues so um, that is what's happening uh, there they uh, have some nastier weather but hey we can't fix that uh, looking at our earthquakes there though uh, not too many uh, 1.5 uh, from 1433 uh, on uh, say on George and then also a 2.4 from 1638 and uh, that is kind of what we see on this map of course this one only uh, looks at uh, say on George as far as the uh, quakes the other map we use um, is a little bit more um, uh, li liberal I guess in that sense uh, with uh, giving us some of the other stuff I'm refreshing it right now so hopefully and uh, that'll uh, pop up really really quickly and uh, we'll see some more I'm gonna make that map a little bigger and uh, nope uh, they took the other ones off so uh, that is all we got nine hours ago 1.5 and seven hours ago 2.4 according to uh, this map uh, so a uh, fairly quiet uh, there in the Azores and both of those were on uh, Saint George or if you want to pronounce it in uh, Portuguese uh, Sao Jorge Sao Jorge if I said it right and uh, that should be close anyway um, kind of interesting anyway we'll uh, get that uh, back to uh, there and uh, we'll have a look at our next one and of course um, we all know uh, what that volcano grade look, uh, looks like and comes from and, and that is Popocate Petal uh, they've got some bad weather there and I don't know if it even showed anything uh, all the way through I don't think we did I didn't see it pop out at all uh, let's uh, try the other uh, the other camera view and uh, again nothing um, the best we can do is uh, maybe about this <laughs> and uh, you really don't see anything in there uh, oh hang on we see the top of the mountain and uh, yes it uh, is still off gassing and yes it still has snow on it but um, we don't have much of a view of uh, anything that's happening there and uh, farewell uh, uh, well men it's been a good knowing you Henry <laughs> Ah, uh, surfs up. Yep. Uh, you want to stay away from uh, the heavy surf. And uh, I don't know. That's just one of my fears, I guess, in life. Um, I don't like, uh, I don't mind being on a boat that's going up and down a little bit. And, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, you get you get your sea legs after a while. I've been out in some pretty choppy water and stuff. But I've never been on one of those big storms where the boat is going up and down over the uh, 100 meter high waves so um, I uh, I can kind of go hmm I don't like that <laughs> anyway uh, let's uh, carry on and uh, see what we've got uh oh 
this stream is no longer there and I'm wondering if a few ago has got the same issue um, we'll uh, take a look we'll redo it here and see and um, yeah I was trying to find uh, stuff in a few ago earlier as well and you could barely barely see it at a certain points and uh, but not much you can almost see an outline of the um, the mountain there but um, the uh, cloud of course uh, being so thick it uh, was impossible to uh, get anything uh, of clarity uh, there's one little shot at 1714 the little uh, puff came out of it but those clouds you see how thick they are and we got to remember uh, that um, uh, uh, Fuego, uh, it's fairly tall. It's 12,346 uh, meters or feet, I mean, and uh, that is uh, way up there in the clouds. And of course, where this camera is located, it too is up on a very high elevation, uh, somewhere around uh, 10,000 feet. So um, it's uh, amidst the clouds, and uh, that's kind of what we got there. The other pictures uh, really are not showing anything right now other than cloud stuff as well. And uh, this is still the old one. And uh, anyway, we'll I'll leave it there. going to put it back onto uh, Popo Catty Petal. And uh, now we'll go over to um, our next one. And, and that will be uh, looking at Merapi. And Merapi really is not going to make us that happy either. Um, let's see, where is Merapi? There it is. And, uh, let's see, these clouds that are uh, coming out of Merapi, I'm not sure, but it did look like it was actually erupting a little bit right there. And, uh, you can kind of see that on this other camera shot. And, uh, well, you could, uh, for a second. Ha! <laughs> uh, but earlier... Uh, we had uh, lots of cloud there's again intermittent spots where we could see it uh, because of the uh, weather going through the area it was difficult at best to uh, get anything that is reasonably clear uh, this is uh, way back already about nine hours 15 minutes ago and um, there you can see it's off gassing a little bit but um, not as much as we'd like to see and no uh, bacon coming out and, and that's about 10 hours ago there um, that's all right uh, so nothing really uh, good to report there for a uh, Merapi uh, quick peek over at uh, New Zealand and that is of course a home of uh, Amelia and uh, let's uh, see if we can see Ruapehu at all and uh, we I know they had the um, the storm off the coast there and uh, let's see uh, going back I don't think we can this is four hours ago supposedly uh, looks like uh, about the same as it is right now and um, yeah six hours ago uh, kind of the same thing too yeah I don't think we're gonna see anything and then it goes back into a uh, nighttime um, when we go back even further so I'm gonna leave it back to live so a lot of our clouds and there and uh, that is uh, pretty good uh, I think uh, Dr. Fox forgot about uh, the uh, cheese in the back of what in the back uh, it's green what you've uh, I was missing some cheese where'd you find it piggy oh boy it must have rolled out or something um, darn it uh, I hate green cheese I don't like blue cheese either <laughs> anyway uh, all good Okay, and uh, of course, uh, this is our uh, next one, and uh, let's see if we can uh, get that uh, going again. Uh, I gotta find it first. Uh, oh, there it is, and uh, there we go. Uh, so, um, remember our uh, river here? Uh, they're actually able to drive through it fairly easily uh, today, and uh, that is, of course, over at Semaru, uh, that's in East Java, same island as. Um, 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 the other one, uh, Merapi, there we go, and uh, of course it's uh, doing its thing. These guys are um, driving through there without too many difficulties. I, I don't think uh, they're having any problems. 
a little bit of splashing and that is all right so uh, pretty cool but uh, we do see a little bit of a plume coming off of um, uh, simmer root and uh, nothing uh, really really major and uh, we uh, didn't see a heck of a lot earlier either uh, they uh, did not have anything zoomed in uh, if we uh, go back um, this is a, a bunch of hours ago 3 30 in the morning you can see a little bit up top there but again it's really nothing major uh, that um, is going to uh, show us any kind of a um, bacon coming down there today and uh, prior to that of course it was in the clouds and you couldn't see a darn thing uh, going uh, back about seven hours ago we could see it a little bit there and uh, again not too too bad but um, uh, really no major bacon uh, flowing out like what we've seen uh, the other day so um, there we go and then back into the clouds uh, that's it for there and of course they still don't have anything on the other one for a crack of town and i think it's been a pretty easy going for that one so we're not going to worry about it um uh, let's uh, pop back over to uh, sakura jima uh, there it is and uh, we kind of talked about it already and we had a look at the uh, uh, quick um, pop that it had earlier uh, this morning and of course the other camera wasn't working anymore and I think that camera may have been damaged during the blast the uh, ice cream boat is in and uh, we can see it there um, the uh, big stack the black one uh, so if you go down and uh, follow the road there you can uh, make a left and go down to the um, dock and get yourself an ice cream and uh, pop it is going to come out and get me so I'll whisper to pop it. Be a good cat. Okay, hopefully uh, pop it uh, put its ears up and realizes that I'm still here and paying attention. All right, um, but I'm going to leave you on the next one uh, since uh, that is kind of um, steaming away too. Uh, why is there a kangaroo uh, in your fridge? Um, uh, top secret, Piggy. I can't tell you about that um it's all good anyway uh anyway that is tall and uh it is a time <laughs> uh dr fox uh she just hissed at me uh oh <laughs> oh piggy ah uh, there you go uh that is how you get your cat going and uh at least uh, at least she still loves you and, and that's all good uh anyway i'm going to take that break you guys uh, so i'll stick around and uh, be uh, be happy be nice and um, watch the uh, the smoke or steam coming out of there and uh, uh that is to all a volcano of course and on that note i'm going to go take a quick break um hit the like button if you haven't done so already also if you're new and you haven't subscribed please do um uh, consider uh, hitting that subscribe button if you feel we've earned it uh, stuffs pop it in uh, dr. Fox's fridge shuts the door fast oh boy I gotta go get Pepsi uh, this is gonna be trouble holy mackerel uh, pop it in the fridge uh, thanks
And I am back. Uh, welcome or welcome back, everyone. Amelia, enjoy your lunch and uh, take care. Uh, make us something nice, eh? <laughs> and uh, anyway, I see the, uh, again, they took it off the um, old uh, faithful eruption to show stuff out in the fields. That makes no sense. Uh, they must have more guest operators there that um, don't know what they're looking at. <laughs> Um, one of the things I noticed uh, in here, look how white these trees are, and I'm kind of a little bit uh, suspicious of that. Uh, we know um, that it's 18 degrees Celsius there, uh, so uh, Yellowstone, um, it shouldn't be uh, frost or anything like that. It makes a guy wonder, are we uh, getting some chemicals on there? Sasquatch did it. Ah, they put white spray paint in there. That's what it is. Uh, and uh, I noticed that around uh, um, Old Faithful as well, that the uh, floor area or ground area was somewhat uh, whitish. And um, with a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius or uh, 64 Fahrenheit, it is not snow. I can't see it being snow. Uh, unless it's colder up there and uh, we do have snow on the ground, that is a possibility too. So... Um, uh, no, uh, if they were dying from the beetles, uh, they would be turning um, a reddish goldish color. Um, that, at least that's what they were doing out here. Um, and uh, you know, once the uh, the infestation took place, the nice part is um, a flying squirrel. Okay, and possibly. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, out out here uh, in Alberta, we didn't get those because it's just too cold uh, for uh, the uh, uh, those pine beetles, and um, that is um, pretty um, pretty good in a way, I guess. Anyway, and uh, that is uh, Old Faithful. We don't need to go over it too much, and uh, we uh, did have a look at. Uh, uh, what uh, Ta'al was doing, and uh, I wanted to see if I can get back on there. Oh, I'm wrong one. Um, need to uh, click on the right spot, and why is it buffering? Darn it. Where is it? It's buffering, and it quit buffering. Um, and it's buffering again. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, they may have some problems with the, uh, the lines there, and... Uh, we are really well at least we got a little bit of a peek at it and uh, seeing what it is doing today so it's not bad kiwi fruit and uh, vegemite a sandwich i come from uh, the land down under <laughs> uh, awesome um no yeah i need oh boy seeds i'm too carried away with the volcanoes I'm sorry, Piggy, I, you're right. We did need to get at seeds, and uh, that was my bad. You can give me a uh, heck for that. And uh, thank you for reminding me. Um, there's our first seed of the day. Uh, no, no, don't be sorry. That was my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was too uh, engrossed in, in trying to figure out why Tall was buffering. And, um, yeah, that was a pumpkin, Sarah. <laughs> uh, it's not a pumpkin anymore. It's piggy food. <laughs> and uh, that is pretty awesome. So if you're a pumpkin, uh, look out. Uh, those uh, pigs are um, going to eat you. I feel, uh, what? Uh, I feel for the pumpkin. Uh, yeah, looks like he got shredded pretty good there. And uh, that is... Um, um, pretty nasty and speaking of pumpkins here's a couple and um, uh, it's a pumpkin cat and a pumpkin pig and uh, one is looking at the other saying hey uh, you don't quite look right <laughs> what's wrong and uh, hmm the shoelace is untied no <laughs> anyway um, that is uh, pretty cool and uh, next one is uh, all right, and uh, definitely uh, what I call a pork belly, okay? And uh, this little angel is uh, <laughs> definitely a pork belly and uh, does uh, tricks on uh, any food bribe. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, that is uh, pretty good. Uh, it's an angel pig. Yep, uh, you got it. 
and uh, let's see if pigs could fly oh boy oh boy <laughs> uh, Vegemite sandwich down under a song by a men at work it's uh, a southern hemisphere thing maybe um, I think we might have heard it uh, anyway getting back to cuteness uh, there is a bacon seed a hand sized bacon seed and he's wearing a hoodie and he must be in the hood <laughs> I gotta love that um, uh, it got lots of airplay here too uh, right on uh, Henry and I think it did here too a little bit uh, it's been a while since I've heard it though and uh, let's I uh, get to our next wonderful bacon seed a yeah. oh Rocky yeah that uh, that's cool uh, Sarah uh, Rocky Bal Balpiga Rocky Balpiga and uh, here's some piggies out uh, playing with their pumpkins and uh, their little piggy toys and a blanket and uh, enjoying the day outside I guess uh, pretty awesome looking and our last little uh, bacon seed uh, for today will be uh, this next one and uh, that is uh, these two little uh, guys they're both smiling and uh, they're happy and that they are being coddled and uh, very very happy little piggies and uh, what uh, we are dating ourselves <laughs> uh, anyway uh, that uh, is cute uh, seeing uh, those guys uh, being relaxed and uh, doing yeah piggy pals uh, definitely and uh, Piggy sent some more things in uh, for us today so let's have a look at some of these other wonderful pumpkin carvings and uh, here's one uh, that I thought was really really kind of cool and uh, that of course is I love turtles I love turtles <laughs> Ooh, turtles yep uh, definitely a decent uh, that is really a nice carving too and you gotta admit uh, they uh, did a wonderful job on that turtle uh, next one and uh, this uh, would have taken a lot of time and um, a matter of fact um, this uh, octopus or yeah I guess it would be an octopus uh, it would be uh, really really super super hard to uh, draw on there and uh, wow you know that is really um, uh, this is an art yep it is um, as I said before um, octopus or kraken yeah um, that could be a kraken too um, definitely and um, uh, a lot of a uh, lot of work went into that obviously and uh, I'm very disappointed one fish is not here yet and uh, because uh, this one was dedicated to him and uh, there is a uh, one fish and uh, that is uh, a pumpkin and uh, hopefully a uh, one fish will uh, get a chance to review this and see <laughs> that is pretty cool and uh, yeah it does smell a little fishy and uh, we uh, gotta be octopumpkin octopumpkin okay uh, we'll work with that next one is uh, uh, I think um, when I use the line um, you ought to get the idea uh, there um, I hope you get the idea <laughs> uh, it looks like a couple otters uh, swimming in the water and uh, doing their thing uh, playing so um, pretty uh, pretty awesome to see that you guys yep uh, otters in the water and uh, that is uh, a pretty uh, pretty cool uh, you ought to like it um, I hope you do anyway uh, let's uh, do the last one here and uh, that of course is uh, another form of Kraken the dragon and uh, that is pretty cool uh, looking I'm not sure if that's uh, really uh, quite correct but it looks not bad so uh, very very cool and uh, we uh, like that yep of uh, the dragon 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 it's dragging its tail and uh, I, I think the hind end kind of got um, 
not quite right, but I don't know. Still, uh, put it this way, um, that is a lot better than what I could do. <laughs> so, uh, hats off uh, to those guys uh, for doing such a splendid, splendid job uh, with um, all of their um, wonderful uh, pumpkin carvings. And uh, it is the season, so uh, that is uh, pretty cool. And um, let's see, where are we at? We, um, we looked at, um, um, yeah, we looked at our tall already, and we want to go to Hawaii, I think. Let's go to Hawaii and see what we've got going on there. And, uh, of course, uh, there is the uh, lava pond inside Kilauea's crater. And uh, you can uh, definitely see um, the, the neon patterns and I got to get on that page so my mouse will work. And there we go. On at this end is where the uh, lava tube is. The lava comes in, and as um, the flows go, um, it they get uh, crusted over a little bit, thin crust, and uh, they change uh, direction slightly whenever they uh, jam up in the ends here, and uh, create new patterns. It looks pretty awesome. The uh, lighter glow spots, of course, are uh, where the lava is draining out. And uh, you can see uh, those throughout the, uh, the pond along the edges. And uh, that is, of course, uh, caused by the gas bubbles coming back up as the lava is draining downward. Gas being lighter, it's going to go up and it will uh, pop and break the, uh, the light crust that's on the lava pond and um, uh, create those uh, very uh, glowy spots. Let's uh, take a look at what it looks like right now. And um, very smoky looking, uh, different patterns though. Uh, you can see the uh, toe area in the background here, uh, primary um, uh, input here. Again, a lava tube, I mean, uh, comes in at this end and um, hard to tell uh, what's going on here. Uh, we can see some of the lighter stuff along the edges uh, not that much though and uh, we'll carry on to our next uh, shot and uh, this uh, from uh, 23 uh, 27 uh, last night very smoky looking there it might have been raining that's the primary vent and uh, you can definitely see the uh, the glow from uh, the lava pond uh, very hard to see the little hornito where the um, uh, lava tube begins Actually, well, I shouldn't say begins because it's a lava tube feeding it, and then um, the, uh, from there it's feeding out into uh, the uh, lava pond. I'm refreshing uh, that one and getting the current picture. Uh, still very, very smoky, but you can definitely see it uh, there. And uh, that's your primary vent, uh, the uh, lava pond. Uh, again, over here, lots of smoke coming up the side of the, um, the hill and uh, that is coming out fairly high up and again i'm still waiting for that to fall in we are seeing more smoke in the background here as well in some spots so um, very interesting to see that um, and we really haven't seen any changes in level uh, as of late in um, in the uh, kilauea crater anyway uh, this is from the other side uh, looking um, back across it and uh, the opposite direction and there you can see the uh, lava pond primary vent uh, a little bit of that hornito there where the uh, lava tube is refreshing of uh, that uh, picture there we go and uh, um, again same thing right uh, there's your primary vent uh, you can almost make out a little bit of a dark space there uh, seeing where that lava tube actually comes in uh, but other than that, it's uh, very smoky and not easy to uh, tell what we've actually got going on there. And uh, let's uh, have a look at um, the uh, thermal images. Uh, so this one was from uh, 23, 28 last night. A primary event there. A uh, little uh, hornito with the uh, lava tube uh, going into the uh, pond and uh, very hard to tell otherwise uh, what's going on uh, toe area there um, not very much in the toe area i don't know if it's because of that smoke but let's refresh out see if it uh, brightens up at all and uh, there we can see a little bit uh, more in the primary vent um, uh, looks a little cooler in the um, um, 
Hornito here and uh, I th think that uh, we just don't have a lot of lava flow and uh, that's kind of the problem and of course the uh, patterns have changed once again inside the um, the pond here um, and again uh, you're seeing the uh, toe area out there uh, all the way around you do see a little bit of uh, lighter areas there that's where a little more heat is coming through and uh, being uh, picked up by the cameras or the camera uh, shot here and uh, of course that is a little a bit thinner than uh, the mass in the middle here and uh, that is about um, anywhere from a couple meters to about four or five meters uh, thick and uh, that is a, a lava island actually floating on top of a magma slash lava that's underneath there uh, this uh, dark spot here that is pig island of course uh, that uh, we can see in uh, this shot here right in there so and uh, that is uh, kind of what we're seeing there but that's from the other side so pretty cool uh, quick uh, shot over to um, Mauna Loa and uh, that was the uh, nighttime shot from 2316 can't see a darn thing there uh, other than a couple of little specks of stars we'll uh, refresh that take a look at uh, what it is uh, right now 1416 local time is when uh, that uh, came from and uh, that is up on Mauna Loa uh, the uh, caldera up there and I uh, really don't see any activity or anything like that but I don't think I want to see this thing go <laughs> that is one huge caldera and uh, if that ever popped boy oh boy and that would um, make a mess a really really large mess anyway and that is uh, kind of it for there let's uh, pop over to the uh, earthquake map and uh, we'll uh, see um, uh, what time is it uh, somebody uh, say something in the chat that way the uh, time clock updates uh, I can't I gotta go by that rather than uh, my time here um, well I uh, take a look at the earthquake so oh I'm on the wrong screen need to get on the right one uh, there we go I'll slide it over and uh, zoom in on uh, our wonderful Hawaiian Islands there's the Hawaiian Island chain and uh, three minutes thanks uh, Kevin uh, that's what I was after and uh, there we go and um, looking at what we've got there we'll uh, maybe uh, finish those in three minutes real quick uh, Pahala area everything uh, typically between about uh, uh, 26 and 37 kilometers down let's uh, go through these real quick 2.8 from uh, 1222 today uh, for that guy uh, this is a 1.7 from 550 a.m. This uh, latest one here, uh, 2.0 from uh, 1751, and uh, that is only 11.6 kilometers down, though. Uh, then we have uh, this guy here, 2.0 uh, from 131 uh, this morning. Then the uh, next one is 2.0, 627 a.m. Uh, for that guy. Uh, going up here a little bit more, 2.4, and uh, that was yesterday's from 1834. And we uh, go take a look at these ones here that are kind of lined up a little bit. Uh, this is 2.0 from uh, 1036. And then we have a, a 2.0 from uh, 1341. Uh, 2.1 from uh, 939. And then uh, 2.7, a little bit bigger, uh, from 1020. And uh, then uh, this other guy here, a uh, 2.3. And uh, that was from 1121. Uh, sliding over a bit grabbing these other ones 2.2 from uh, yesterday 2220 was the time on that uh, we'll grab this guy 1.9 1315 was the time on it and uh, then a 2.4 and, and that was from a 623 a.m. Uh, 2.3 from a uh, yesterday at 2108 and uh, then we've got a 2.0 uh, from 839 this morning going up to a uh, Mauna Loa and uh, up on Mauna Loa we only see one quake 2.7 uh, 600 meters above sea level I came in at 1222 uh, so that's the only a uh, new one there only a uh, one or two more quakes and uh, that we want to look at and these are right under Kilauea 
and uh, that is a 1.9 from 8 to 60 uh, what 846 um, that is uh, 600 meters below sea level there we go that's what I'm trying to get out 1.9 6:31 a.m. and that is one kilometer below sea level and of course uh, this is an older picture of the caldera so uh, please uh, don't confuse that with the uh, present level it's much much higher in that caldera than uh, what we're seeing in this shot and uh, that is uh, it for earthquakes in Hawaii and uh, that's really not that bad and it is a break time you guys so um, that's all cool we'll go over uh, the uh, rest of the earthquakes around the world after the break uh, so everyone hang in there and uh, for those good people who are here please uh, do hit that wonderful like button if you're enjoying the show and uh, we are still far far away from uh, reaching that 100 mark and uh, also um, for uh, those new people around uh, that haven't subscribed yet please consider hitting the uh, subscribe button and the bell notification on that friendly note i'm your host dr fox 2000 and it is a time for a break for me and uh, piggy enjoy your coffee i'll be back thanks
welcome or welcome back everyone. I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 and you're watching Volcano X on live stream. Uh, thank you uh, Sue and Sue by the way you're 12 hours off of uh, Japan's time. Uh, just exactly 12 hours. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, thanks Kevin Haynes and uh, welcome uh, Sharon Stewart. Uh, good to have you on here and let's see uh, who else did we miss here. I think we got most of everybody, <laughs> and uh, uh, I can hear you, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that is cool, yeah, it is, I uh, kind of sue, and uh, thanks, uh, uh, Sharon, uh, anyway, let's get back to the earthquakes that we were uh, looking at, or, well, we finished with Hawaii, so, a uh, quick peek at uh, the rest of the world, and uh, we'll uh, see what's shaking, and uh, we'll uh, zip down here first. Of course, uh, looking at our uh, stuff that uh, they had on here for uh, uh, Iceland, that, that is old, but uh, going down a little bit more, we see a 5.6, and uh, that is in the uh, mid-Atlantic ridge here. Then we uh, go further south, uh, down by South Sandwich Islands, uh, near our uh, wonderful Michael Volcano, 5.0 uh, down there. Uh, fair size and we see a couple here uh, one in uh, Chile. It's actually Argentina 4.4 and um, I should uh, throw some times and uh, stuff in there uh, for those as well uh, That came in at uh, 1651 uh, and uh, 204 kilometers down for that this one up in Peru uh, 4.6 from 1555 130 183 uh, uh, kilometers down so uh, very deep a bunch of little stuff here in um, North America and nothing really uh, major and uh, we're still seeing everything uh, that we should and uh, that is a good thing and of course uh, the uh, little quakes here tell us that we do have uh, the uh, North American plate and the uh, Pacific plate uh, sliding past each other on the uh, uh, San Andreas fault and it looks like it's a little uh, tighter down here on the Imperial Fault and uh, not a heck of a lot of uh, quakes there. Um, and the old ones here on the uh, Cocos Plate uh, that um, we've seen uh, previously. And uh, let's uh, slide over to uh, New Zealand. Uh, nothing really uh, new there. We do see one little one here in Fiji, 4.4 from uh, 1326 their time, 568 uh, kilometers down. Uh, 4.3 in Vanuatu, 448 a.m., 196 clicks down, 4.7, uh, 4.56 a.m., uh, Vanuatu as well, and uh, that one was a lot shallower at 11.8 kilometers, and uh, this one here, Indonesian area, uh, 4.6, and uh, uh, that's almost uh, Timor Leste uh, area there. Uh, 112.6 kilometers down happened at 1715 uh, <clears throat> getting up a little bit higher into the uh, uh, that's still Indonesia this one's Philippines uh, so uh, from uh, yesterday 2219 64 kilometers down for that 5.1 and then we have this uh, 5.4 here in the Philippines and uh, 205 a.m. 38.2 kilometers down for him and another small one, 4.5, and, and that's also in the Philippines, uh, from uh, 1248, 121.8 uh, kilometers down, sliding up a little bit more, not seeing anything else down there. Off the coast of Japan, we see a 5.2 uh, from yesterday at uh, 2354, and, and that is just about 16 kilometers down. Uh, then we have uh, this one also from yesterday, Japan, 4.0 at uh, 21.05. And uh, that's kind of uh, what we've got uh, there. We have to look at those. Uh, this one here is in Thailand, uh, northern area of Thailand, and uh, 4.2. Uh, 1536 was the time on it, and 2.3 kilometers down. And then we see uh, one in the Himalayas here. And near Nepal, 4.9, uh, 322 a.m., 29.9 kilometers down. And then we see this one in China, and 5.5, uh, and uh, that was at 22.35 uh, yesterday, 8.6 kilometers down for him. 
uh, Afghanistan area here, 4.4 4 and uh, 1435 and 99.4 kilometers down uh, for him. And uh, just zooming out, looking for others. I don't see anything else, uh, nothing in our uh, European theater uh, from uh, this particular map. There may be stuff on the other map that is new and uh, that's the EMEQ map and uh, if we uh, refresh it and uh, we uh, may see some uh, newer stuff on there but uh, not a heck of a lot I don't think um, I'm more interested in up here and we don't see anything uh, new in uh, the uh, uh, Yan Mayan area or um, uh, what the heck is that a Svalbard uh, there we go uh, up in here and uh, they should have called this place Iceland. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a more appropriate, I think. Uh, anyway, not going to get into uh, of that. But um, it looks pretty normal. And you guys can always bring that uh, chart up yourself uh, by uh, typing uh, EMEQ in and uh, bringing that up. And uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, what we see in the Azores. And I'm going to refresh that one uh, just so we have it up to date. I did refresh it uh, earlier, uh, but obviously things change. I zoom out a little bit. want to see the uh, northern areas. And it looks like our fault area up here is pretty clear today. Uh, so no, no new rumblings up there. Uh, we uh, do see some uh, interesting uh, quakes around. I'm not sure. That was uh, from today, 1857, uh, 2.2, just off of uh, Tenerife uh, to the uh, northern uh, side. And then um, this guy, I think, was a couple days ago. Yeah, it is uh, 1650 uh, from the 17th, uh, 2.2. Um, we'll leave him alone, and we're going to take a look at uh, what we've actually got on um, La Palma and see what we've can uh, see there so one right off the west coast and uh, that was a 1.17 kilometers down next one also out in the water uh, down at the bottom south end there uh, 1.5 12 kilometers down and uh, then uh, the one uh, right on top of the ridge 1.4 11 kilometers down for him uh, so um, interesting, but uh, that's it uh, for there. Everything is uh, fairly quiet otherwise. And uh, I think uh, I'm not going to worry about those. And we'll carry on and have a look at our volcano map around the world. Going to refresh it again uh, because we want newest and up to date. Uh, so let's see uh, what we can uh, come up with. And um, looking around, uh, we see our two in Iceland. We see our two here in the Azores. And uh, of course, Michael, a volcano down there where they had that quake. And uh, the uh, Ring of Fire uh, still uh, doing its thing. Uh, most of those are still the same. Nothing really has changed. I think uh, Revendator, uh, oh, hang on. Um, what is it? Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, Reventador, uh, still a red, Sangay, still red, and uh, Sierra Negro, um, definitely uh, a yellow, uh, per se, still yellow, and um, uh, Nevada uh, del Ruz, uh, still uh, a red, and nothing new from uh, Fernandina out there, I'm not going to worry about him, and of course the other ones going up here we know, uh, Fuego, of course, and our wonderful Popo Cafe Petal. And uh, we don't see anything else there. Uh, Taupo uh, still uh, there on the map and uh, not showing anything really uh, strange. Uh, White Isle Volcano still an orange. And Tofua still there. Home Reef Volcano still there. And uh, our Vanuatu stuff and nothing new there. Same thing with Papua New Guinea and uh, not seeing anything new. Hang on, is this? Uh, this might be new. Uh, currency? I don't recall seeing that. Uh, that might be uh, uh, something uh, new on the list here. And we'll uh, see what happens in the future with that one. Um, yep, yeah, I uh, saw currency. Currency. Uh, that is new. Uh, so that's interesting. And. Uh, um, 
Ibu and Dakono still there. Uh, these other ones are still kind of doing their thing. Um, yeah, Bulusan, uh, Mayon, and of course Ta'al still in orange. And uh, we're still seeing uh, Nishimo Shima uh, as an orange. And of course, um, Suwanosi Jima. And I wish they'd get their cameras fixed, but uh, uh, that one is still there. Sakura Jima, of course, uh, we've seen what it was doing uh, today. And uh, we still have our three musketeers here on uh, um, <laughs> Chikarachki and uh, Ibiko, as well as Alade. And then uh, going up onto uh, the rest of the Kamchatka Peninsula, we're seeing Karimsky, Bezimiani, and Shivalish uh, still uh, doing their things. I try to see what's happening in, um, you know, for pictures up here in uh, our Aleutian Islands. And really, I um, was not able to see a heck of a lot of anything there. Uh, really a bad time of the year for uh, trying to see pictures. Um, down here, Piton and Del La Formes uh, volcano, and uh, that is on Reunion Island, still showing a red. And our uh, friends on the water here still are the same. Old Doño still uh, cooking, uh, slowly but surely. And uh, the two here in uh, DR Congo still there. Erta Ale uh, still working away as well. And of course, uh, Mount Etna, uh, Volcano and uh, Stromboli, about the same status as yesterday, nothing new. And uh, that's kind of it for uh, this map. So um, pretty um, cool. And um, what else we got? I guess uh, popping over to our weather maps and uh, we'll uh, take a look and uh, get the SO2 out of the way. Um, I'm going to refresh that just to uh, make sure I'm up to date. Uh, there we go. And uh, that is one funky looking design. <laughs> it's it's a V with uh, some bulbs on the end and uh, uh, being uh, fed by some other stuff. Uh, kind of weird, you know, you see that line in between and that is is kind of really odd isn't it uh, uh, for me it looks weird um anyway we see and that is all making it all the way into uh, british columbia and actually alberta as well and uh, perhaps even uh, looping back up here a little bit uh, which is all right uh, but um, still uh, the fact that it's out there it's so2 and it's coming over from china uh, the big polluter and uh, we'll uh, try not to um, get into the uh, politics uh, too much. Um, pretty much a normal standard of uh, people pollution uh, there in the U.S. And, uh, of course, we still see this churning system right off the coast, uh, right over the Baja. And that is drawing uh, some of that uh, downward, upward, and then back over into uh, the... Um, uh, Gulf of Mexico, which is kind of weird, uh, but that is Mexico City as well as Popo Cathy Pendle uh, making that mess. And then uh, we see everything else here is because of the stagnant circulations and uh, not really getting any rain to uh, clean the air out um, in uh, Central uh, America there. And uh, looking at uh, South America, we see uh, the uh, flows up on the top here are trying to go uh, back inland. And, um, of course, uh, this circulation is um, probably helping it uh, go that way. But for now, it's dragging it out a little bit as well. Kind of uh, weird patterns, I guess, uh, for this time of the year. And uh, we see some weirdish uh, patterns down here in the um, Antarctic as well. And uh, the uh, lower uh, Pacific Ocean area. And uh, looking at uh, what we see coming off of a White Isle volcano, still uh, there doing its thing. And then uh, here in uh, Melbourne, uh, they've got the refineries there. And then up here, we've got uh, the coking plants. So um, that is what's causing uh, that in Australia. And uh, Tofua, I'm making uh, this little plume. Um, uh oh, hang on. I forgot to change the map. Oh my God, I'm getting all kinds of people. Uh, why is my map not changing? Grr. How about that? Okay. There we go. Let's uh, start that again. 
My apologies, you guys. I didn't uh, mean to uh, do that. I clicked the button. It happens. Anyway, there's that funky pattern I was looking at. And um, it is uh, one of those things. Uh, hey, Kananaskis country. Good to see you. And, um, yeah. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, sometimes I... Uh, I, I click the button and um, it doesn't change and I know I clicked it and it's just grr. okay anyway we see uh, what's happening in the Gulf here we see uh, the uh, Central um, American uh, area here so I'm doing this thing and down on the bottom we wanted to look at those real quick we already talked about White Isle Volcano uh, Australia is pretty standard Tofua still uh, doing this thing Vanuatu um, and there, Yasur and his buddies are doing uh, very well. And then a little uh, kind of change in a the pattern there in uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, but still normal. And uh, the uh, stuff being pulled down south here, uh, that is a little odd for Luol uh, to And normally that goes to the um, uh, west, but uh, it's uh, being drawn down by the current uh, weather system here. There's got to be a circulation uh, this way. And um, there, uh, this uh, spot is from uh, Semeru, that's from Merapi, and uh, Krakatau and Jakarta helping uh, to make that one. And then, of course, Ibu and Dekono are um, doing uh, this. And a lot less SO2 are coming out of um, um, the Philippines and uh, uh, Mayon and uh, Bulusan uh, possibly making uh, this. And then, of course, uh, uh, the other area here, a lot of it uh, would be coming from Manila, uh, but uh, also uh, some off-gassing from our uh, wonderful Taal uh, volcano. Uh, pretty uh, normal in uh, uh, this area here, um, Taiwan, uh, looking at uh, where we see Suwanosi Jima. Uh, that was drifting the other way before, now it's trying to push back, but uh, we uh, see that as well as uh, right up here uh, where we should have our right where that camera is sitting is um, uh, Sakura Jima going up a little bit and uh, you see uh, the way that uh, pattern is coming out of uh, the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula and of course uh, from our uh, wonderful uh, trio uh, that's uh, living there actually it looks like um, Alaid is not putting anything into it it looks like it's just uh, Chikarachki and um, Ibiko. Uh, so uh, pretty cool, uh, but uh, definitely getting a good flow and uh, lots of stuff coming out of uh, the Kamchatka Peninsula. Uh, moving on, uh, we're still uh, pretty normal uh, down here in uh, South Africa. And uh, same uh, thing goes for uh, our uh, Central African areas here, DR Congo. Urta Ale, hard to tell today uh, what's actually coming out of it and we got a lot of pollution again in uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Kuwait and Iraq uh, in uh, those areas and uh, we see uh, this uh, wonderful uh, weather pattern here uh, pulling uh, that SO2 from our um, wonderful Mount Etna uh, down across the uh, Mediterranean and into uh, the uh, northern uh, portions of Africa so uh, that is what's going on there um, Piggy actually I uh, shouldn't have too much uh, going on there for hers a little bit of SO2 there but I think uh, that needs some more rain uh, to uh, clear all that out uh, big circulation uh, there of course and it looks like um, Spain is pretty much clear as well as France getting into Germany not too much um, and uh, Belgium uh, not bad Luxembourg not bad and uh, Kevin Haynes uh, gifted uh, one uh, membership there uh, thank you uh, Kevin and uh, we'll see if uh, somebody gets it oh Mary Jane uh, just got it um, that is awesome and uh, Kevin Haynes uh, okay I gifted one and uh, that is cool so um, that is awesome and uh, thank you kindly for that Kevin and uh, yep Mary Jane you got a month membership for free and uh, that's compliments of uh, Kevin Haynes on doing that gifting uh, one out so uh, there you go 
Anyway, uh, what we'll do is uh, get uh, this guy ready. It is uh, just about break time here. Uh, so what we'll do is um, we'll uh, kind of look at that map here before uh, we uh, take that break. Actually, I'm going to refresh it now. And uh, then we're going to take a look. And uh, I was going to look for that storm. And they've actually taken the name off the storm now. And it was right here and it is uh, still kind of bashing the coast but it's weakened uh, so uh, the next one that's going to come in will uh, probably be a 92w and that looks like it's sitting uh, just about over top of guam now guam might be out a little bit further but uh, still uh, giving uh, them uh, some uh, bad weather in those areas um, anyway i'm going to leave uh, that be for after the break you guys so please uh, stick around and uh, don't go anywhere and uh, then we will go over uh, the wonderful weather uh, for those good people who are here if you uh, are enjoying the show and you have not yet hit that like button please help us out our target goal of course is uh, uh, to uh, get over that 100 mark so um, if you haven't done so yet uh, please help and uh, hit that like button also, if you're new and you're enjoying the show, please uh, don't hesitate to um, hit that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to hit the uh, bell notification as well. I'm going to put you back on some canned lava here. And uh, we'll uh, get that going in a second. And uh, I am going to go take a break uh, for a few minutes. And uh, hopefully I won't, uh, won't forget to uh, turn things on or off or sideways. <laughs> Anyway, uh, be good, everyone, and uh, I'll be back in a, a few minutes.
and there we go microphone is back on and yep i did show that extra little clip there i figured yvonne might want to see it so um that of course was uh, sakura jima in the uh, wee wee hours well actually late uh, yesterday technically uh, so all cool and uh thanks every uh, one for the uh, welcome backs and welcome uh, yvonne kunkel and uh, jb as well uh, glad to have you guys on board and uh, thanks uh, for the uh, the welcome backs from uh, sue and uh, kevin and uh, that's awesome and uh, we were going to work on weather so uh, let's um, make sure i get on the weather map i'm clicking it and uh, waiting for it to change and and is it going i hope it's going oh we're on the weather map yay <laughs> so all right and uh, let's uh, go through this and uh, we'll see if we can get her done in uh, the 20 minutes here anyway uh, looking at uh, some very very cold temperatures up here in uh, uh, what should be iceland it's called greenland and uh, we uh, see a minus 34 as about the coldest up there uh, right now uh, looking at alaska and uh, the yukon and northwest territories area um, not uh, very very uh, nice there it is a uh, seasonal i guess uh, but we do see uh, that warmer air in the prairies here alberta and saskatchewan and uh, northern uh, portions of british columbia actually a little warmer today again uh, we uh, topped out at 22 degrees celsius here in edmonton so i was very happy with uh, that and for the 19th of october uh, that is again a very very warm temperature and uh, when normally we don't see that normally it's like uh, this uh, <laughs> anyway i'm uh, looking at um, uh, manitoba and uh, down here by winterpeg uh, they apparently uh, they had some snow uh, in uh, that area again and uh, also um, great lakes uh, still keeping everything uh, cold on the uh, western uh, sorry eastern side of uh, uh, our um, well uh, we out here in the west we call this the middle east okay and that is the middle east <laughs> anyway uh, that is um ontario uh, very cold uh, single digits all the way through and uh, portions of quebec are uh, very cold but they also have some warm air that was infiltrating and um, looking at that shear line uh, that is going uh, right through um, Nova Scotia and I'm not sure which side uh, um, yeah it looks like uh, possibly uh, still on the uh, on the good side of the weather uh, there Sue uh, as far as temperature and uh, the uh, colder stuff uh, to the uh, southwest of you so hopefully uh, it uh, will uh, um, this ridge will move over a little bit and get you warmer but um, that is uh, what we're seeing there not bad and uh, out here in uh, newfoundland uh, same thing uh, kind of seeing uh, the uh, uh, western side warmer and eastern side uh, getting uh, down to those uh, single digits of course uh, uh, looking at newfoundland labrador area up top here a lot uh, colder and uh, around the great lakes uh, very uh, cold and uh, some of the uh, northern climes of uh, ontario there so uh, that's kind of it uh, for um, uh, Canada. Uh, Vancouver Island actually had a very nice day. So C and D boy probably have been uh, busy uh, chopping wood and gathering mushrooms. Uh, anyway, looking at the uh, western uh, portions of the uh, U.S., very very uh, nice uh, for a fall day. Uh, 32 degrees in some places, as high as up as Redding in here in California. Uh, Death Valley uh, coming in at uh, about 33 degrees and uh, that is um, uh, pretty uh, awesome as well uh, Mexicali down on the bottom here uh, 29 right now and again we're seeing uh, the higher uh, lands here in uh, um, Arizona being a little bit on the cooler side but relatively a reasonable day uh, for them all the way around uh, Phoenix about 27 degrees roughly and uh, that is not bad at all uh, for them uh, New Mexico a little bit on the cooler side but uh, still a uh, reasonable temperatures and uh, Texas 
uh, we're not seeing uh, that really uh, dark red anymore in here so um, they are cooling off as well and uh, seeing uh, the uh, cold area here uh, going all the way uh, down in uh, into uh, Florida and uh, of course uh, the eastern half of the United States uh, getting uh, really uh, quite cool and uh, that is all complements of uh, that um, lows uh, that we had circulating I think this guy here yeah uh, bringing all that cold air down and then of course the um, uh, Great Lakes uh, doing uh, their thing uh, with it as well adding some moisture and uh, making it colder New York only seven uh, Boston coming in at seven uh, or eight or nine uh, thereabouts uh, Maine uh, warming up a little bit uh, on the east side and then once you get into uh, New Brunswick uh, a lot warmer there uh, same thing uh, goes uh, for uh, the uh, Nova Scotia here on the west side uh, quite cool then you get over that line and uh, it jumps by about 10 degrees Celsius pretty awesome uh, that way uh, Baja area looking uh, still uh, very warm which is a uh, nice uh, higher lands uh, higher elevations a lot uh, cooler and uh, you got us high sitting over here now hopefully uh, that will help clear things up uh, in um, uh, that area for now we do have a bunch of different circulations here again that is going to create storms you got one low going this way high going this way high going this way wow it's supposed to be uh, <laughs> it's not and then uh, Cancun and uh, getting uh, up to about 26 today uh, so uh, not a bad day and then uh, Central America um, 25 26 all the way through kind of thing and uh, except for the higher elevations gets a little cooler and uh, you got to remember it's, those are nighttime temperatures already so our uh, daytime stuff would have been a lot warmer anyway uh, looking at uh, what we're seeing uh, in the Amazon and uh, Brazil uh, some of the uh, temperatures 29 30 degrees in the uh, eastern uh, portions here uh, but the uh, coastline a little bit cooler and uh, not a big uh, deal there uh, Bolivia again you know higher elevations lot lot colder and uh, the lower elevations doing uh, not bad um, Paraguay as uh, kind of nice uh, topping out of 26 on the top 22 on the bottom and uh, we see some of that warmth uh, going uh, down all the way into uh, Argentina which is not bad looks like uh, Uruguay uh, some uh, nice uh, 20 degree temperatures uh, 19 18 somewhere in that ballpark uh, low sitting here probably dumping in some moisture and uh, doing its thing still very chilly in the bottom end of Chile and uh, we see another high and a low uh, very close together creating that shear line um, always interesting to see those and uh, there we go um, uh, another low sitting out there this high fortunately bringing a lot of warm air into uh, the uh, northern island of New Zealand uh, southern island is uh, got this high to thank for some of that cold air that's being brought up from uh, down south and of course uh, the um, eastern side a lot warmer than the western side uh, that's what we're seeing there Tasmania looks like it's had a very balmy day today uh, looking at uh, I don't know 16 17 18 depending on where you are a uh, quick peek at Hobart uh, coming in at 14 so uh, not too too bad uh, Melbourne of course uh, 16 17 uh, for uh, their temp and uh, then we've got Adelaide coming in at about 19 Sydney coming in at about 21 and uh, home of our Oz and uh, there it is 22 23 in uh, Oz land <laughs> and then I uh, was sliding all the way over to Perth uh, they are still holding some nice temperature here at 18 uh, right now and we see the heat coming back into uh, the uh, northern portions of uh, Australia looking at uh, our uh, Indonesian uh, uh, Malaysian and uh, Philippine areas um, that storm that we had here I mentioned that earlier it's uh, still doing its thing looking for uh, the uh, Bangkok weather uh, looks like 26 on the map here 
and uh, possibly uh, some rain showers coming in and uh, Sue brought it up says 27 fair uh, with a temperature of uh, 80 or uh, 27 C 69 percent relative humidity thank you Sue and uh, here's that next uh, storm and uh, that is uh, probably going to get caught in these wind currents and continue down there a lot cooler in Japan and uh, we uh, see that you know it is seasonal same thing uh, goes for uh, uh, Korea here and uh, sliding up a little bit more we see the further north we go the colder it gets of course and uh, Kamchatka Peninsula um, coastal areas down in the uh, low uh, single digits and then of course higher elevations uh, below that freezing mark I see Siberia starting to cool off uh, they had a uh, balmy uh, fall day there at uh, minus 20 or so uh, degrees Celsius and uh, looking at uh, what we have in India, uh, pretty uh, normal for their temperatures. Uh, same thing uh, goes for Sri Lanka down here. Looks like um, um, Bangladesh is uh, the area where it's a little bit warmer, 25 there. And uh, going down the bottom end of um, Africa, we see uh, Cape Town coming in at about 15, 16. And then uh, not so uh, bad. Uh, same kind of stuff going on. In Madagascar, as it always does, the western side a lot warmer than the east, uh, but um, uh, still uh, showing some nice temperatures there, 22, 23 degrees. And um, Sahara Desert definitely cooling off. And uh, looking at um, Saudi Arabia, uh, 26, 27 for the high temp right now. It is nighttime, so that's what we expect and um, even the UAE uh, in here, United Arab, Arab Emirates, uh, 25, uh, down to 23 in some spots. Uh, Iraq, Iran, uh, still uh, doing uh, pretty uh, normal for this time of year, actually. Uh, relatively good, actually. A uh, little uh, too cold in um, uh, Turkey, though. Uh, could be a little bit uh, warmer uh, for those guys. Um, it does look like um, they are starting to warm up a little. <coughs> and uh, looking uh, for Piggy's temperature, she should be about 19 degrees Celsius there uh, for Piggy. And uh, we'll uh, see uh, what that uh, temp actually is and uh, take a quick peek at that uh, while we carry on. And there we are, 19 degrees and uh, fair. No, uh, no rain, though, uh, according to this uh, so far. Uh, Sicily again uh, coastal areas Sicily and Italy both um, really uh, coastal areas uh, are not bad as soon as you get into those higher elevations it starts to cool off quick uh, New Monkland or Sardinia uh, same kind of an affair uh, with uh, uh, close to 20 degrees Celsius around uh, the uh, the coastal areas a little cooler in uh, the uh, middle of the uh, island there um, not bad looking uh, there in um, <clears throat> Spain, up on the top a little bit of the uh, cold stuff there, but uh, for nighttime, not bad. And uh, France actually holding some really nice temps right now. Uh, not quite as warm in Germany uh, from the looks of it. And uh, we've got um, about 9 degrees in uh, Munich and um, uh, let's see, uh, where else can we go? Uh, Cologne, Cologne, if you want to call it that, uh, 10 degrees. Uh, Berlin uh, coming in at about 5. Hamburg, uh, Hamburg, uh, 5 Grad, 5 degrees. <laughs> and uh, uh, going up and checking um, Denmark, we are seeing um, low uh, single digits up there as well. Uh, quick uh, check, um, looks like they are getting some of that uh, wonderful uh, Gulfstream air. Uh, in uh, to uh, England and uh, the uh, bottom end in Wales looks like uh, actually warmed up quite nicely and um, uh, Irish monk land definitely uh, not bad at all right now and uh, that is uh, for all of Ireland uh, really uh, not bad and of course up in uh, Scotland uh, we see a uh, much much colder temperatures uh, looking at uh, what we're seeing uh, here in uh, the uh, bottom end of uh, Sweden and Norway, 
um, very uh, cold temps uh, sitting there and then it warms up a little bit and then again up in the uh, further north areas it uh, gets uh, back to a really cold same kind of uh, pattern in uh, Finland and uh, quick uh, check uh, St. Petersburg or Leningrad uh, three degrees right now Riga coming in at six Moscow about three and uh, Stockholm uh, two or three degrees uh, Oslo about zero right now and uh, that is kind of what we got London on the other hand 14 uh, Dublin Ireland about 13 and uh, sliding over to um, hoping uh, that some of that warm air will come back up and uh, uh, get back into Iceland and warm places up a little bit uh, since uh, they have that snow uh, there in uh, Reykjavik uh, so uh, looks like uh, four or five degrees uh, there right now and of course our um, uh, Ragnar area and uh, that whole area windy with about five or six degrees Celsius not bad uh, could be a lot worse but um, uh, this is, is horrible this uh, dark color here and then going uh, to white uh, 34 degrees Celsius uh, minus 34 degrees Celsius there in uh, Greenland and um, it should have been called white land I think uh, that would be more appropriate. I'm moving over to the uh, precipitation. Uh, let's have a quick peek. And uh, looking at uh, the uh, west coast uh, panhandle of Alaska, uh, definitely getting nailed down all the way into uh, the Queen Charlotte Islands and uh, a little bit on the uh, northern uh, portions here. Actually, Queen Charlotte's look clear. It's the uh, rest of the area that is the uh, troublesome uh, thing, I think. And... Um, Looking at uh, the uh, northern areas, Yukon, a bunch of snow, um, Northwest Territories, a bunch of snow, as well as ice rain, uh, which is also getting into uh, none of it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all that. That's horrible. I'm going away from there. And uh, here's the uh, snow in northern Ontario. And then, of course, uh, even in uh, southern Ontario, uh, they were getting uh, some snow uh, down uh, all the way down to London uh, so uh, that is telling you winter is coming uh, uh, some of that of course is lake effect snow and it can be very heavy and very sticky and uh, here's um, the uh, price you pay for having uh, those warmer temperatures and uh, that is um, uh, kind of nasty there with uh, what uh, Sue is getting and uh, they've got a bunch of rain in the area um, or at least uh, that's what's uh, looking like on uh, this map and we uh, do see uh, um, all of uh, New Brunswick so pretty much all of uh, Nova Scotia PEI are getting uh, nailed and then a lot of stuff going all the way into uh, uh, the uh, northern uh, portions of um, um, Quebec or sorry um, yeah Quebec and uh, Labrador and Newfoundland are there. Grandma B throws in a $2 super chat. Thank you very kindly, Grandma B. And that is a very kind uh, super chat. I'll write that down. Grandma B. And uh, $2 super chat. Thank you very much, Grandma B, uh, for that wonderful support. And uh, let's uh, move uh, down a little bit more. And looking at uh, the United States, it looks uh, pretty darn nice as far as uh, most places. Uh, the uh, exceptions, of course, are going to be out here on the uh, eastern side in uh, New York and uh, that area. New Hampshire uh, possibly uh, getting a little bit of that as well. And uh, whatever else uh, is uh, right there. Down on the bottom in the Florida, a little uh, storm there, but it looks like the wind currents are going uh, south. So um, David uh, Brewer should have no problem with his um, stream tonight there to show the, uh, the meteor shower. And uh, here we are in uh, Central America, Mexico and uh, those areas. Uh, definitely a bunch of uh, stormy stuff going on in uh, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, you know, Belize and uh, Guatemala definitely getting stormed out. Uh, even Alcapulco looks like uh, it's uh, got a bunch of uh, snow there. Hey, um, Barbell88, I uh, love the show. Thank you, uh, Barbell. I appreciate that wonderful uh, super chat. Barbell88, uh, 
and uh, just uh, writing that down, six uh, ninety nine uh, Canadian. There we go. Uh, thank you very kindly for that, and uh, do appreciate that support. That's awesome. Uh, Central America, of course, uh, a lot of storms, and of course, uh, Amazon area. Uh, to be expected, right? It is a rainforest after all. <laughs> Uh, what's left of it and uh, that's kind of what we're seeing uh, there in uh, the uh, northern uh, part so uh, Colombia, um, Peru, um, Ecuador and uh, Venezuela and then of course uh, Brazil uh, for the most part and then uh, going down here we see at the bottom end of Paraguay as uh, getting uh, some uh, stormy activity as well and uh, that is also um, kind of partially into uh, um, Argentina as well as a little bit into uh, Uruguay uh, this uh, system off the coast here and uh, definitely not welcome I don't think and uh, Rio de Janeiro probably getting a little bit more moisture and of course uh, down in the uh, bottom tip here in uh, Chile uh, very very chilly and uh, moving over to uh, New Zealand really quick and uh, here's the uh, differences uh, with those those highs and uh, even though it's bringing colder air up and uh, that cold air of course mixing with some of the uh, warmer stuff so you're going to get some rain and some snow in the higher elevations um, not bad though uh, for New Zealand all the way through they do have uh, fairly dry weather just the occasional um, spots of uh, rain uh, looking at um, that high sitting uh, right over top of um, uh, our uh, Tasmanian area it uh, is keeping that uh, hopefully clear and, and then we see some uh, very welcomed uh, water uh, coming down into uh, the bread basket here in uh, uh, Australia and of course uh, the uh, eastern uh, coast area and looks like um, Brisbane is uh, spared right now and um, a home of Oz of course and I'm uh, probably not getting uh, too much rain there it looks like uh, Sydney is getting about uh, 0.4 millimeters, uh, so a little bit there. And um, Perth, a little shower, uh, but uh, not too bad from what we see. Uh, sliding up, um, well, actually, let's uh, just look out here for a second. Uh, going all the way out, and yeah, it's not bad here for Fiji and Tonga and uh, that area. Just wanted to kind of see what that was looking like and um, not that bad here in Papua New Guinea either uh, most of the uh, traffic seems to be uh, here in Indonesia and uh, Malaysia and uh, even uh, Taiwan uh, those areas are getting uh, nailed and here in the Philippines of course and, uh, and the I still have Nisat on uh, this particular one uh, showing that it is uh, causing uh, some more rain and stuff in there we see uh, this nasty storm here and a shear line all the way up to that low and uh, that is out in the uh, Pacific and that definitely is uh, creating some issues out there I wouldn't want to have to go through that but hey it is what it is uh, looks uh, not so bad in uh, Japan uh, but it is cold there and uh, that low uh, sorry that high here I don't think it's uh, helping because it's actually causing uh, some of that cold temperature uh, to come down. And uh, Kamchatka Peninsula, snow anyone? And uh, no, that's what we're seeing uh, there. You can see that whole circulation uh, going uh, around in here. And uh, going down to India, uh, seasonal rains, the way uh, things happen there usually, I guess. Um, not uh, bad in Madagascar, uh, southern end of uh, um, Africa looking uh, dry, our uh, Congo areas and uh, central uh, Africa uh, not uh, too bad uh, with uh, the storms there and then of course uh, dry uh, up here in uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, not Saudi Arabia, in the Sahara Desert, uh, dry in Saudi Arabia as well and uh, Iraq Iran and a little bit of rain in uh, Turkey and uh, there we go I uh, see that remnants of that little storm that we were seeing here um, that was out here before and it's uh, kind of slowly sliding away 
doesn't look like any rain for Piggy for a few days, uh, so we'll see what happens. And uh, let's see uh, what else uh, we got here. Um, yep, warmer temperatures. That low is being nasty, and it is uh, dumping, um, even though it's warmer uh, there. Uh, Yvonne is going. Uh, okay, I have to get ready for work now. And uh, thanks for another great stream. Uh, Dr. Fox and Mods and Lavaliers and Lava family. Have a great day slash night, everyone. See you later. And uh, take care. Have a wonderful uh, day at work, Yvonne. And uh, take care of yourself. Uh, anyway, uh, looking at uh, what we're seeing there, that uh, you pay the price for the warmer weather, right? And uh, that's what we're seeing in uh, um, uh, Spain and uh, France. And uh, of course, uh, they are probably um, welcoming uh, that wet weather uh, to get a little bit more moisture in the ground. It doesn't hurt. Uh, looking at uh, Germany, uh, no rain. Uh, Yvonne, you don't have to take your umbrella to work. And, uh, <laughs> That's all good. Uh, looking at uh, England, um, looks like uh, most of England is not bad. Uh, Wales uh, getting a few showers. And then uh, Irish Monkland, uh, definitely up in the north. He might be uh, just a bit out of it there at Doolin. Not too much coming through there, but uh, the rest of it sure is uh, getting some. And then up in Scotland, uh, definitely getting a little bit of uh, rain up there as well. A uh, quick look at the uh, very northern uh, portions here, uh, no, uh, Norway, along the coastline getting rain and snow, and uh, of course uh, the, the uh, northern uh, portions of uh, Russia there as well. Uh, not seeing any snow in uh, Iceland, uh, which is really good, and we uh, do see some rain on the coast and uh, in certain spots, but uh, mostly uh, dry, so uh, that is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, on uh, that note, let's uh, go find our cold, cold temperature of uh, the day. And, uh, of course, um, we want to see uh, the uh, coldest temps. I already found a minus 63, uh, so uh, that is right there. But uh, do we have anything colder? And uh, we'll find out really quickly here. Uh, 61. Uh, and anything? No, minus 62. And uh, I think we have to stick down here for minus 63. And that is uh, there. Uh, minus 63. Anything colder? Um, nope. And uh, that is it for right now. So a uh, minus 63 degrees Celsius, you guys. And um, that is all I found. And uh, I don't know if uh, Sue can beat that. Uh, mind you, um, I'm looking at the uh, 6 o'clock temperatures. Uh, you found minus 64? Darn you! How could you? <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's so bright I can't see it, right? Um, it's almost daylight there 24-7 now. That uh, would be uh, pretty cool. And, uh, yep, I'm going to stick with uh, minus 63 is all I can find. So, Sue wins uh, by uh, one degree, uh, sort of. Uh, she's one degree colder than me. And uh, I know my frozen heart is not going to thaw out at any point in time. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that is all good, you guys. And uh, that's it for our show today. And I thank everyone for being here today and uh, very very awesome so uh, be good uh, keep smiling everyone and uh, thank you all for um, uh, joining in and of course uh, let's see if we can uh, scoot around real quick and uh, we uh, want to take a look at another look here at the Sakura Jima just to um, uh, see what it's doing I think we'll uh, leave it on there to end the show and uh, Suhei, yeah, yeah, they win. Uh, they win by default, and uh, that's all okay. Um, it's too cold for me. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find a buffering screen that uh, just changed, and um, I don't know if he uh, restarted his um, tall or not. Uh, we'll uh, find out. Um, 
boy, and this is really having a problem on trying to get that working. Oh, why is that not working? Let's try that again. Uh, of course, now they're bringing uh, commercials. I want to put ta all on there. Hang on. Let's see if we can then do that. Uh, before it clouds over again. Uh, there, there is tall, and uh, that's where we're going to end it uh, today. So, uh, be good, everyone, and thank you all for being here. And uh, I want to put a big thank you out for Oz and uh, Thor and uh, Kevin Haynes uh, for um, dropping uh, some uh, uh, gift memberships in there, and uh, that was three of them. I only seen uh, one of them uh, being actually uh, picked up, so uh, that is cool. Um, they'll likely get a refund if uh, it's not being uh, picked up by someone. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to watch that after all. It's buffering again. And uh, we'll uh, switch it back over to uh, Sakurajima. And also want to say a big thank you to Oz and Grandma B and uh, Barbell88 for their wonderful super chats. And uh, thank you guys. I do appreciate uh, all of them. And uh, that is awesome. And uh, I thank everyone uh, for being here. Big thank you uh, goes uh, for... Um, oh, Clark Hall is here. Welcome, uh, Clark. Uh, you're uh, just coming in right at the end of the stream. And um, anyway, uh, thanks everyone uh, for being here. And uh, big shout out to, of course, Arizona Snowman, uh, Piggy, uh, C&D Boy and uh, the rest of our moderators like uh, Lucas Snow and uh, Joseph and uh, Gary at uh, 24-7, he's at 24-7 uh, Live, he's at Skies, and um, that's all good. And on that note, a big thank you to all of the Lavaliers, and uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, a big thank you to uh, every member of the Lava family, of course. <laughs> Um, and you are all part of the big family. So uh, keep that in mind. Keep smiling and be good and uh, stay kind. And uh, most of all, please, please remember, tell your loved ones uh, that you uh, love them tonight for tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And I uh, will see everyone uh, tomorrow. Oink, oink. Good night.